you got the feeling when all the elements started coming together that this was premeditated and that he knew exactly what he was doing. Most heroes are reluctant to shine the light upon themselves. <laughs> um, but Jackie deserves the light. She's uh, a role model. I, I, I have a lot of admiration for Jackie Prieston. And what I would like to know is why. Why did it have to turn out this way? Why did he have to do what he did? And really, he has no answer. He has no answer. Pull her back a little. So she can try and reach the... There, there, there. Look at how she's starting to crawl. Robert Harlan on all charges. <laughs> like that. Delivering a death what? sentence for Rhonda's murder. Like that. <laughs> and 144 years for the attempted murder of Jackie Criazzo. Nearly 10 years later, an appellate court reduces his sentence to life without the possibility of parole. I still think Robert Hartman should look the devil in the eye, and eventually he will. It's life in prison, it's natural life, so he'll die in prison. But he should have received the ultimate sanction. <laughs> Larimer County investigators hope to one day deliver justice for Jessica Arredondo. I'm absolutely convinced that Robert Hartman uh, is involved in killing and disposing of the body of Jessica Arredondo. Police still don't know who the second man was in that crime. And I believe uh, there's a good chance. Look, I think she reached it. Robert Harlan could be <laughs> she was over here. Uh huh. Sides, uh, potentially. She's starting uh, to crawl. With the, the DNA potential that exists Baby. now that did not exist then. He was a predator. Uh, from uh, from being a sexual predator into being a homicidal sexual predator. A predator who ripped Rhonda Bradshaw away from her family. This beautiful young woman, you know, she still had her life ahead of her. She was a mom, she had kids, she wanted to serve. And she never got that chance. But his charisma would draw her into a web of danger. She had hoped so many times that this might be the end of it, and it never was. His true lust for this woman became a crazy situation. This is the story of Linda Smith. When flirtation ends in deadly obsession. I'm Dr. Michelle Ward, and I'm a criminal psychologist. I was stopped, and I'm not alone. Over 3 million people are stopped every year in this country. Although many survive their ordeal, others don't. These are their terrifying come on, stories. Come on, come on, come on, come on. She heard bullets whizzing past her over that close. Linda Smith is born in Portland, Maine in 1945. Growing up, she likes sports, and although a bit shy, Linda loves to perform. I was always interested in dance, theater, dress up, things like that. In 1964, Linda begins college in Virginia. She almost immediately finds love, gets married, and has two children. But unfortunately, the marriage ends in divorce. 23-year-old <laughs> Linda takes a break from romance and dating. She settles down in rural Virginia and gets a job as a secretary for the local Big Brothers Big Sisters she organization. I'm a single parent with two children. She got up, huh? Time. Yeah, she did. She was like, what? By 1983, 38-year-old Linda is ready to find love again. 
she was just looking for someone who would treat her with respect and be a kind, good man. Andale, mija. I went and joined a golf club. And that's where I met Jack. She probably sweating. Jim McDonald is a sweating? steel company executive three years her junior. The romantic spark is undeniable. Yeah. She was really attracted to him, and I think he took her. He was very charming. He was a very handsome man. He was six foot five, college educated. His family's quite wealthy. Most everybody would say, where did you find that guy? <laughs> She so like get your face out of the camera. Yeah. They tried to videotape me. Meeting up with friends. Okay, and look at me. Dinners. I was having fun dating, but I really wasn't thinking of anything long term. Oh, she said to pursue that. But by 1985, Linda notices that Jim's drinking more, and when he does, he gets moody. If he was drinking, he really became a different person. He's become mean. Your big brother? Huh? He would belittle me. Tell me I was. Are you big brother finally? He would accuse me of flirting or coming on to someone. I would say you need to. They're nine years. Nine years older. Dang. Then he would be charming again. Soon it's gonna be eight, ten years older. If I become ten first than her. Huh? Yeah. Then, to Linda's surprise. Yeah. How long did the months go? He was just less than a mile down. The Don't judge me. Jim I'm just like very five months. Individual. Now, now that he lived close how long? By, how many he was seconds are in a second? I, was that I don't know. Thirty seconds. Was always there <laughs> checking up on me. No, she was like, how many seconds <laughs> are in a second? Early 1986. Linda is home with her 20-year-old son when Jim comes over to take her out. You big brother? He's drunk. Are you going to take care of your baby sister? We were arguing and he wanted Maybe. to go somewhere. Maybe. <laughs> what if someone is uh, picking on her and outside it on the house? And he pushed me over a chair. Wait, I know kids go ass. And plus, whoever picks on there would, the first time like, if she's, violent, like, in kindergarten, yes, maybe they'll be, like, three, so I'll just, like, the push her in the, like, uh, Shut up, matter of fact, you're picking on this little girl. So when you get your license, are you going to take her out to get an ice cream? Huh? <laughs> are you? Yeah. But by the time, she might be nine already. Like, huh. When he was... Not drinking. He Are you going to take her out to see the Smurfs <laughs> in the theater? In his core, Jim is a violent guy. I remember he just what Hector said. It was so interesting that back. I fell asleep. I think the fact that Jim does have an important position <laughs> he in did his fall company asleep. indicates that he does have the ability to I loved it. I, it was a good to keep movie. this under control. Well, you add alcohol and that ability to Part two, control they didn't have cranky in the Irish He's sure, not just like a... Them bad drunk. He's a belligerent. Are you going to take her to the swimming pool in the park? Yeah. One day he said, I know you yeah, want maybe. to take a break, <laughs> but my boss is getting married. Attend the wedding and Say bye. you don't want us to see each other. Bye we everybody. Won't. Linda decides to give Jim another chance.